Oh, we're giving an off heat that it's incandescing. Oh. And if I continue heating, Ooh. now I'm going to stop, turn it off. Whoa. Visible. And against the board, you can draw lines. So now you can see if there's any kind of expansion or contraction with the lines that are on the board. Uh, I have a little neodymium magnet that I'm going to try to attach. And I'm going to take a paper clip and see if I can get it to hold. There's a point in any ferromagnetic material called the Curie point. Mm -hmm. If you go through the Chem 13 booth, they will give you a Canadian nickel that's actually made out of nickel, which is magnetic. You can heat it up to its Curie point and it will cease to be magnetic and it will not be attracted to a magnet. So the Curie point is there for the iron. It's considerably below the point at which we get the phase change taking place. So then the scarier part if you have an old train set, okay, where you've got a transformer, if it's one of the more heavy duty that will run several trains on a track, that's, you, you've essentially got an area where those will work. So I make sure that it is completely off. Generally, I have respect for electricity. I will have the fuse removed. I will have it unplugged plugged in and it's going to be just a matter of heating it this is on this is on now I'm going to start the heating process and I want to observe and then once we get going it, I'll, I'll ask you to turn the lights off for me okay but this should be on if we begin heating And the sad thing is we have a white background. Can anybody from the side see any smoke coming off of yeah, it? Yeah. Why is there smoke? Coating. Why? What property of iron would we want to try to prevent? Sorry. Oxidation. Oxidation, rusting. So the iron is going to come to you coated with some oil. First thing you do, if we continue to heat, yeah, go ahead and get the lights now. I think we can, as I heat it, what is it doing? It's blowing. It's blowing. It's blowing. It's blowing. So now we're giving an off heat that it's incandescing. And if I continue heating, now I'm going to stop, turn it off. Whoa. There was a little tiny dip. Uh, let's, let's get the lights on one more time. I don't want to do this too many times. Uh, let me do this though. Let me unplug it so, so that I am safe. When I have this something big on here, when I get it above the temperature, I'm, at, I'm in the face centered cubic state, the closest packing. As it cools, the iron atoms literally will rearrange themselves into the body center cube. And then what we see is a, dip, a very slight dip. It comes up and then it continues to contract because it's cooling. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just, it's not hot, I'm going to crimp. And I don't know if you can see, I've got black stuff. Yeah. on my fingers so if I heat an iron wire hot enough I've got all of the the rust on it and let's do this one more time and see if we can actually see a nicer dip normally I have it a little bit longer than this will it eventually will it break uh, 
I try not to. We did it six times in Alabama after printing it, and it finally broke. And the, the wire just sags. It doesn't. Those you of you over there are not in danger. <laughs> and you didn't lose the suspended property. Pardon? And you didn't even lost the suspended property. Oh, now, if you note it, well, looking at something else, you saw that the magnet. Now, what did you notice where this was touching and where the magnet was touching as it heated up? Anybody notice anything different in the color of where it touched? Would it be darker? And it would be a darker. Assumption. Good assumption. Maybe you'll see it this time. <laughs> Since the weight and the magnet were touching the metal, they were acting as a heat sink. So whereas the rest of the wire is getting hot enough to incandesce, where we were actually touching was not. Okay? So let's try this again. And the odor. The odor should be gone by now. Go ahead and get the lights off. What is that? That was just the oil burning off. And that's oh. that fire um, I want you, as I heat, to look at the, the two little points. I think I need okay. to just plug in. The, uh, the extension cord is turned off. Oh, there we go. There we go. Let's turn the extension cord on. This is on. So we're getting thermal expansion now. Now, look at the glow. Ooh. Where I crimped it, I had removed the rust iron oxide, which is a ceramic. So you're seeing it less bright this time because now it's shining through the layer of the rust. Okay. Yeah. You see the dip? Yeah. Yeah. That's what excited yeah. me.